how do you imagine someone that is so different from you, somebody who doesn't make sense when they talk, somebody whose emotions are not appropriate to reality, or at least the way we think reality should be, um, to be able to see those people, recognize them, try to make contact with them, but also be aware that you, of what you don't know, and what you can't yet imagine. The invisible people, to embrace their invisibility and say, hi, how are you? I don't see you yet, but who are you? What's out there now is um, either very much centered on the medical model, that, that everything is um, you know, due to some chemical imbalance in the brain and it needs to be treated with a drug. And I think um, that's partially true and partially problematic. Um, studies have, have shown psychotherapy works as effectively as a drug. Placebos work like a drug. Um, and human connectedness would work as well as a drug for a lot of people, not everybody, but for a lot of people to actually prevent um, the loneliness, isolation, traumas that can trigger mental illness and can also help them um, re-enter society. We need to um, touch emotionally people who are different from us and not just ignore them or medicate them in the hopes that they will go away or turn into somebody more like us. I always talk about merging the, the, the left eye and the right eye, depth perception. You know, that, that the right eye can see and do the research on the brain chemical abnormalities and, and neurobiology and, and medications and pharmacology, and um, those are important and, and essential. But the other side can, at the same time, look at how these people got to be who they are and what they've been through in their lives and how they think and what they're trying to say. And, and, and to think about how to relate to people and, and keep all those perspectives in mind and still be able to say, hi, how are you? Who, who are you? Um, and will you be my friend? Or will you tell me about yourself and go for a cup of coffee?